I am going to show you the basics of iMovie. So iMovie is this little icon here with the star and the little camera in the minute, middle of it. Let me go ahead and start it up so you can see I've got quite a few uh, movies that I have created and things I've edited as I have taken video to show my demonstrations. So I'm going to go up here with the plus and I'm going to click on movie. I don't want to make a trailer. I want to make a movie. So I'm just going to show you how to basically start compiling um, some of the segments because you probably have a number of segments when you start or as you have been filming your 40 second little mini movie that you can put all of these things together. Okay, and so how we do this, we're just going to collect like a number of these. So I'm going to choose this one here. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm only I'm going to put one in at a time. No, actually I'm going to put them all at the same time. One, two, three. Create movie down at the bottom. And they're all together in here. Okay, so a couple of quick things. As I hit my play, I can play. All right, the basics of... And what I like to do is I actually like to turn on, there's there's media up here at the top, there's the mov movements, video, photos, albums, cloud, iCloud data, then there's two icons, media and audio, and then there's this little repeat one, and the next to it is this little thing here, little voice, where I can see my voice, and that helps me so that I know, like when I'm speaking and doing my demos, I can say, all right, this is dead space in here, this first part, so I can actually click on this, and I'm just gonna drag until it starts so that when I start it, all right, the basics, you don't have to like sit there and wait for 10 seconds for me to actually start talking. So that's kind of a nice thing, especially if you have that. Um, another thing you can do between segments, let's find a segment in here. There's one. So we can do transition. So I can click, whoops, click on that little middle spot there. And I can do a dissolve, a theme, a slide, a wipe. So a dissolve looks like this, where it dissolves in the next, next frame. I can do a slide. Well, that's kind of a cool little thing there. Okay, I could do a wipe. Wipe's kind of a classic Star Wars transition there. Lots of wipes in Star Wars. Fade's a neat one. Fade's a good one. That's probably one of your best bets for yours. But a lot of times, I like to use a dissolve. And it just dissolves in there. But fade is probably your best bet when creating your movies. Okay, so we can shrink these things down as much as we want. Uh, you can also, maybe you have a long segment and you've you've recorded a whole bunch of it of sections kind of all together so it's one big long but you've changed you didn't start a little new segment you just you went ahead and you changed like a setting or something so like there's a big section in here that's totally different so what I could do is I could like click on that and I could go actions these are the actions I can do speed volume tiles I can do split there's filters in here too that you can do all kinds of filters but I can go back to actions and I can duplicate things but I'm gonna split that and so that just creates a little break in there and I can maybe come back in and I can put in a nice little fade so I'm fading in from one spot to another and then I can go and I can trim this and drag it find this where there's like a big pop because I was doing something with my camera or my iPad and moving it so I'm going to get rid of that drag it up until I figure out where I want to put it in the next thing okay you can also like take, like let's say you have a big old section that you don't like, you could take it and you could do actions and splits. And I could go here, okay, if this is not a good spot, I'm gonna split that there. So then I have this section in the middle that I've cut through and I can just take it, click it, and I'm just gonna delete that so that I've made a huge, huge cut. Instead of coming in here and shrinking this thing, this whole thing in here, I can just take big chunks and cut those. So once you have your movie all done there's a number of things you can do you can add photos to it um, you can add audio so you can click on the audio you can find your music you can find playlists you can find soundtracks you can find sound effects I could stick a sound effect in here I'm gonna add the bark right there let's see let's watch let's see how this goes so okay 
Okay, so that's kind of funny. So you can add all kinds of sound effects in here. Sound tracks. You know, it could have like a soundtrack going on over there. So play around with it and, you know, really add a lot of things. I know we're sort of running out of time for the year, but hopefully with like a 40 second video, you'll have the time to kind of finesse it in iMovie. So when you're totally finished, we go up to the left hand, upper left hand corner, hit done. Okay. And then we are going to save it. So we're going to go to export project. Oops, that's not what we want to do. I'm going to save video. And we're going to go probably either medium or high definition. High definition is probably the best one. So we'll try it out there first. And it's going to export. Okay. And the very done, we'll find that in your photos. And you're going to attach that to the document that's the assignment and turn that in. And if for some reason it's way too big or something's not working right, um, then you can go ahead and email that to me. But it's only a 40 second video, so it shouldn't take up too much room.